how to cook a tuna steak with urns. Um, some friends dropped off some tuna steaks for me, so I had to cook them up. Um, this is going to be real quick prep. Um, it was frozen. I let it thaw out. Um, you can cook tuna. I mean, you can eat it raw. So really, this is going to be just real kind of basic. Uh, when I cook it, I, I am super basic with it. This is I added a little bit more extra stuff in here. It was a bigger steak, so I cut it in half. Um, you can do a full steak like that, but you know I was trying to cook for a couple other people here, so I you know, cut cut it up, and make some steaks. Um, and like I said, um, I usually just I'm just like butter, some salt, and I pretty basic with it. Um, but if I have people over and I know you know I try to impress them, you know okay, you know throw some olive oil on and. And start seasoning it up. Um, and Himalayan salt, which I use a lot, or I'll use sea salt, um, pepper, salt, and then um, butter, always butter. Um, and there's pepper. I should have fast forwarded this, huh? <laughs> but just kind of give you an idea of, of what I do here. And this is just like some seasonings that I, I have a pre made jar of seasonings that I use pretty much on everything. And um, it's a good base for just about anything. Uh, a little bit of soy sauce, not too much. And this is the bottom side of the fish, actually. So I always try to remember, like, when I cook things, like, there's a top side, a bottom side to season both. And then I usually season both sides differently. Um, it's something I don't know why I started doing it. Then, right, on this side, I'm putting coconut oil. Other side was olive oil. This side is coconut oil. And then, yeah, you know, rub that coconut oil in. Enjoy it. <laughs> and so... But uh, really, it's just, you know, two sides, two different flavors. It kind of, to me, it just, it, I, I don't know if you can really tell when you taste my food, but that's kind of what I do. And then, bam, you know, just add up the seasonings on the other side. And uh, pretty much I use the same on both of these, but when you get on the grill, you'll see what I did a little different on the other side. So here we are on the grill. Um, these are still cool. I put them in, in the refrigerator for about half an hour. And you'll see that the coconut oil, and that's coconut oil right there, that is solidified back up. And that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted it back on the grill. The grill, um, all three burners on. This is a gas grill. Um, about medium heat, got it up to about 350. And then I turned the middle burner off and then put these guys on to cook indirectly. So the grill's hot. Sticks are cold. Drop it down. Damn. <laughs> Love uh, editing here. So now that the uh, steaks are done on one side, you're gonna flip them over and they have nice char marks on the top so and that's really what, what I do I get the, the uh, grill up hot real fast and then turn it down so they can just cook really slow and you can see um, yeah and the, and don't forget to use the dripping man drippings are the best part of anything you can see people just throw it away but man, that's all the seasoning and the flavor so um, a little more soy sauce kind of let it just soak in there and then I put butter on and you can see that how low the grill actually is because the butter isn't melting you don't really want to cook fish too fast. Um, it's not like steak. You know, it can be pink in the middle. You want it pink, or I do anyway. And you see, I actually sped up the, the video to let the butter melt down, so you can see it kind of melting in. And then spread it around. I mean, it's it's kind of you want to cook it really low, just kind of it's it's its own. It's not like a steak, like I said. And then check it. Because I just pull a flake off. You want it to be pink inside. You want it. You don't want it all cooked all the way through or be really dry. <laughs> Delicately put it on some rice, and I'm gonna do a video on the rice because it's, it's a coconut uh, lemongrass rice that I make. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave, leave some comments, like, please subscribe to my cooking channel, and I'll have some more videos up for you soon.